All right, all right, all right, y'all. You know what time it is. It is inside stepping time. And we about to get it in, y'all, because we got a whole lot to talk about. And I am sure that you are going to get value, which is something we're going to be focusing on tonight, value from this particular live show. So, how you doing, Miss Forbes, producer lady? Look, y'all, I got the producer lady in the building with me tonight. Y'all give her. Wait a minute. Where my sound go? Hold on. Why my, why my clapping ain't playing? I don't go there. Oh, well. Anyway, I tried. Uh, so y'all give the producer lady a big round of applause because she's hanging out with me tonight. And we're going to uh, have a real good discussion. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> I'm a little parched. I'm partial. Uh, I just brought what? you a drink. I drank, it. To, oh. I drank the whole drink. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, yeah. good evening. We're going to talk about saving. Saving them dinero, saving them the dollars. Dollar. You, you got to turn it like this so oh. that the light okay. don't catch it. You know what I'm Sa saying? Yeah, saving some dollars. There you go. Uh, we got budget tips, y'all. Now, travel before, hacks. Yes, yeah, you like to use that word. I do. Okay, travel hack. You're a travel hack. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Saving some um, dollars. Before we get started, let me begin by saying, and I got to do this, y'all, it's necessary. So it's, it's kind of one of them things where, you know, you got to say it so it can be said, uh, even though sometimes, you know, necessary, some people don't need necessarily hear it. The views and opinions expressed are not necessarily those of inside stepping or urban arts enterprises. Really? <laughs> not urban. Really? It's not. Ur oh, you said I'm sorry. Really? What are you doing? Sorry, I was trying to get on YouTube. Why are you on your phone? I was trying to get on YouTube. Why? So I can get on the show. <laughs> you on the show. I know, but I was trying to get on the show inside the show. Quit playing. I was trying to inside Why step playing? inside step. Why are you playing? Okay. Why are you playing? Go. On. Finish reading. No, I'm done. I think you need to read it again because I kind of interrupted you. Sorry. The views and opinions expressed <laughs> are not necessarily those of inside step and urban arts enterprises. However, Brian and Poppy do have their own opinions. Um, and we do have to separate ourselves as a necessity because the inside stepping um, brand is its own, has its own life. So, but we are going to present to you tonight some ideas that will help you to attend many of these stepping events on a budget. And I'm saying that because we trying to wait a minute, save you know some what? Yeah, we're trying to say some what? Trying to save some, to dollars. Save some of them stacks. Okay, so look, before I, before I, I stacks, I, I could do like this. I seen the music right videos. There, right oh, look, okay. Before I get started, let me say this, uh, and it's necessary that I say this because we gotta we gotta get some, we gotta get clarity here, y'all. This is a disclaimer. The information provided on this show tonight is in no way a shot at anyone. Nothing personal. We are in not in any way attempting to disparage, criticize, um, talk about, or whatever else. Anyone, any attendee, any any promoter, or any of that. These are there will be some comments made that may or may not apply to individuals. These are not personal shots at anyone, um, because the facts are the facts. And y'all know how we do on Inside Stepping. Uh, we're going to give it to you straight. No chaser. Um, and if you are a promoter and you are attending this live, it may behoove you to also pay attention to some of the things that we're going to point out because it will benefit you in the, in the, the uh, at your own event by being able to cater to and assist your people um, in, your, in your upcoming events. <clears throat> Because, of course, we hear a lot of the same things as we move forward in these events. We we hear things. Um, and I get a lot of phone calls from stuff where people go, oh, well, this happened at an event or that happened or this happened to me and that person did this to me. We don't necessarily address everything on this show because some things we just are not going to touch. However, we do like to bring up behaviors and incidents in a way that allows you, the consumer of Stepping, to be able to make a educated choice. An educated choice is um, a freedom that we all should have. And as long as Inside Stepping is around, we will continue to try our best to provide you with that 
so that you have the most enjoyable stepping experience possible as you attend the events across this nation. Um, let me go back to one point that you said. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, I'm having a senior moment. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> no, it was about, um, not about the shots, but, you know, we get a lot of people to inbox us with crazy stuff. And like you said, we don't discuss it, um, which a lot of things is just crazy. But I want to say this one thing what? that somebody said, which I thought was hilarious. So we're going to do a video and I encourage everyone else to do this. The social media, just do the bloopers oh, so for the end of this year. Cause I had, we had one, we had one. It was really, really crazy. The lady was like, I think you need to do some lab work cause you had puffy eyes. <laughs> well, that's hereditary in his family. Okay. So it's just the thing, but it's just hilarious. Listen, some of the we, stuff we, people we be are saying. not. No, see, but you know, you, you can't be sensitive. I'm not sensitive. I thought no, no, it was no, hilarious. No, 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 no. I'm not being my, sensitive. My point is that people are going to say things. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you do what we're doing, when you have a platform such as this, there are going to be criticisms. We in no way will ever be able to please everyone. So that there's going to be things people are going to say. They have their own reasons for saying it. Some of it is out of concern. Some of it is out of hate. It is what it is. I'm cool with all of it. Well, I want to say this. Thank you, uh, girl. <clears throat> the, uh, the new look might be on for about... 20 more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I got every fan on in the room. All right. So, uh, y'all, everybody, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Um, I see all my people showing up and showing out, and I'm not going to necessarily be naming names tonight because there's so many of y'all, <laughs> and I love you all, and especially my regulars. Y'all are y'all are amazing because you help us to keep the lights on over here at Inside Stepping. Now, don't forget, that Inside Stepping logo at the bottom of the screen right where I'm sitting also allows you to assist us further by donating when you can. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and on YouTube. Don't forget to go to YouTube and subscribe and then hit the notification button so that when we do come on, y'all can always know when we're ready. Now, let's get into this a little bit. Okay. We're talking about basically tonight, we're talking about traveling on a budget. All right, Bessie Taylor, I see you. Don't you start tonight. I see you. Uh, we talking about traveling on a budget because y'all know we go to these sets and they're all over the country. Um, we're going to hit a lot of points and um, it may help some of you and some of you it may not because it may not, you just may not be, you know, you might not want to uh, uh, travel on a budget. But uh, let's face it, the prices of these events are going up. Uh, travel expenses are going up. Eggs are going up. Eggs it's are going up. It does. <laughs> So everything's going up. Let's face the facts. We still want to be entertained. We still want to dance. We still want to have a good time at the end of the day. Um, and I've said this on prior occasions and I got a little pushback from it, but let's face the facts. A lot of people pretend to be balling. They ain't a lot of people want to be able to come to these events. Part of the reason why inside stepping does what it does is because we go to events and we broadcast live so that you can attend the event from your living room when possible. Right. Now, everybody just can't make it. Cause everybody's not going to make event. every event. Most people, we if they're to. lucky <laughs> can attend four events a year. By the time, you know, you got to worry about vacation time. You got to worry about the expense of it all, the travel, the hotels and so on. Mm -hmm. So most people don't have the budget to just travel all over, uh, the country for this dance. And even if you're retired and you get, you know, a monthly check, you homeowner, your roof might need to be fixed. You right. might need to paint. You <clears> might <throat> put your deck on. So sometimes all your money just can't, you know, stretch out. So you got to save a few dollars. Now I want to say this traveling on a budget may be a bit more inconvenient for a lot of people, but let's keep it 100. If, if it's more affordable and more practical, then it is what it is. Everything is not going to be money. Money provides luxury, um, you know, and, and everybody doesn't have the luxury of money, but they still want to have a good time and they should be able to do that. And so we're going to give you some tips tonight that'll help you to move in that direction. If you want to be able to you know, keep, keep on kicking it out here. Um, oh, look, it's Tanya. Hey, Tanya. I see you again. No, Tanya got a cousin the on there. What's hey, up, girl. cuz? Thank um, you, everybody. All right. So, we're going to start. You have your list and no, no, no. I but, have my but list. We're going to go by this blueprint, right? I mean, we're going to go by Are this outline. Are we going by your blueprint or no, mine? No, no, no. We're going to go by the outline because okay. see, because here's what we got to remember now. Y'all can tell I'm not one of those women. All right. that this, is, this is balling on a budget. Agree with and everybody, everything everybody, everybody, everybody ain't got it like <laughs> that. What? I said, I'm not one of those agree with everything. You you said, I, had to, I had to have my list. You had to have your list. That's fine. Okay. Let's see. We're going to start off on your list. 
Anyway, <laughs> this, this is what I'm saying. Let's start from the very, very onset of the idea that you want to attend a step set. Wait a minute. Let me say this. Because inside Step and Family, I love everybody. Thank you. We put this topic up early. And some people also inbox me some of their tips, of their too. Tips, yeah. So if anybody has any tips or reviews on saving money, traveling, please put it in the message. Yes, put them up. Put them up on the, on the, um, in the feed so we can also read those off. Because there may be, I'm sure there's things that we haven't thought of. Now. Right off the top, the first thing that you do when you decide or begin to decide that you're going to go to a set, you say to yourself, when you see a flyer, you see a Facebook post, uh, Mm -hmm. something like that, and you say, uh, I think I might attend that event. Or you might start talking to somebody and they'll tell you, well, you you ought to come to this event. All right. So the very first thing that you have to consider is what, what is it going to cost? What, 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 where are the tickets? Now, right. let's start off by here's one way to immediately save money. When you first hear about an event, inquire with the promoter right away and attempt to find out if they have a fire sale or if they're going to have a sale period. Some promoters will start out by uh, offering tickets at a discounted price. Mm-hmm. That's one way to begin the savings. And I'm only, and I'm starting with the tickets only because... This is the very first step to beginning any part of a trip. You know, I've, I've taken advantage of a lot of good fire sales, so definitely save some money. Right. And I'm going to say this, because at Texas Heat, they had a fire sale. And one time they even had a fire sale just for the gentlemen. Mm. So a lot of the guys, I don't know what the price was, but I want to say it was 50% off for the guys for just a short period of time. Cause we know a shortage of gentlemen dancing. Right. So that's an advantage. And in the Men fire have been sale, a lot of discounts lately at a lot of the sets y'all. Yeah, so well, keep sure. that in mind. Keep that on. It's like keep what, that in 10 the women promoters to two men. That is, <laughs> that is a, uh, an actually a good, um, uh, tactic to gain more men at your sets and to help to, you know, build the, mm-hmm. build the event. Mm-hmm. Uh, and to point that out, you know, and also, and this is just a tip to promoters, don't forget to have your designated dancers. Don't forget to have your, you know, you can build a small team of men that you give a discount to or even sometimes let in free that are designated dancers that all they do all night long is dance to, dance, just find the women and dance. Um, uh, I can say, I'm not going to say all the names, but I can say when I go out, mm-hmm. Uh, Nike be putting it in. He dances with every dog on body. Mm-hmm. He, I, he do trios and stuff. Uh, chalk right. dances with everybody. Um, but now there, I have been at events where the promoter actually provided pins for the men to put on their lapel with flashing lights, so that they stood out and the ladies knew yeah. that they were designated dancers. Remember, and they were, we was at that party in California. It was a lot of guys walking around with lighted uh, things, and yeah, they were just standing yeah, yeah, around yeah. and walking because it was a lot of men at the event. Right. So that's always um, a good one. Now, we're past that part. So you got your tickets. And the next thing that you're going to notice on anyone's flyer, is it a theme? Right? Mm -hmm. So that means now you got to consider what to wear. Right. Right off the top. If there's a color theme, if there's a um, cultural theme, like we'll we'll be in... uh, Las, Las Vegas, Vegas this yeah. month in a, in a few days <laughs> well, for yeah, the February. Out of uh, Africa into Las Vegas event. And, of course, there's a safari night. There's a um, African theme. African theme. We'll be wearing dashikis. And then there'll be, uh, what is it? It's another one, isn't it? Um, um, it's, you know, Friday night is safari <clears throat> night. Saturday is your African night. Um, Friday day party, you wear your T-shirts. That's why I made that um, right. zebra okay. print uh, Very good. T-shirt. Um Saturday day party. I think she wants you to wear dashiki and jeans. Okay. So you know your cousins and somebody gave y'all some African clothes to sitting in the back. Pull them out. Okay. Wear. So right. And that party is only forty five dollars. Well, we're gonna get to that. Okay. Part. We're gonna All get right. to that. Okay. So, um, and now because we started out talking about the tickets, but we're gonna get later on in into this thing. We're gonna get into um, event costs. Take now, advantage of the fire sales. Yeah. The very first thing, tickets take advantage of the fire sales. But also, well, I guess we could we actually cover this now since we're on a ticket situation. Let's consider this. In when you're making a decision about and let's we're gonna use this as a sort of a base, a guideline. Let's let's just let's say you only decide you're gonna make four events this year. 
Yeah, I think that's what um, I saw somebody. Is that Lady Sings the News? Hey, hey, Lady Sings the News. Oh, wait a minute. She said purchase flights Rodney on Tuesdays. Rodney Mack in the building. Um, well, we're going to get to that, too. Okay. Come okay. On. So when you decide to <clears throat> purchase your ticket for or decide which events, let's say you, you got the calendar in front of you. You know who's giving an event uh, all year long because most of the events are out a year ahead of time. So you say, okay, well, I want to make this event, this event, and this event, and that event. So you decide which four. And we're using four as a guideline. Some people can do more. Some people can do less. When you do that, the, one of the first things that you're going to have to ask yourself, because this is going to be different for everybody. Everybody has a specific criteria that's going to determine whether, whether they want to be at a particular party or not. Mainly because some people want to, they like the DJ's lineup that's going to be on, on, on deck. They mm -hmm. like the instructors that are coming. They like Just the event itself. Because of who the promoter is, and they know that it's going to be a quality event. Right. And this is the part that we got to get into when we start talking about the relationships mm -hmm. and value. Or just being close to you. Well, yeah. Sorry. But we're talking about, when I say value, let's talk about what you're getting for your money. What, 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 what kind of bang are you getting for your buck at somebody's event? Because think about it, you have events now that are that that are costing hundred, hundred twenty five, some one hundred and fifty. Mm-hmm. Now the question becomes: If you line up all of the hundred and fifty dollar events all year long, mm -hmm. and then you look at the amenities for each event, mm -hmm. what are you getting for your hundred? Oh, wait a minute, I'm writing him up because I said phones on I, silent. I, I that, said that, that at six thirty, six forty five, and six fifty five. I turned my phone down. Look, would you stop? It was ringing, ma'am. It was ringing. Doggone it. Okay. Okay. See you, 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 <laughs> you, you. you, you, you. He does anyway. Producer lady, right? You fired. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Phones so off on the set. The events um, vary in price. The question you should ask yourself. <laughs> Everybody, and this is going to be different for everybody. The question you should ask yourself is what value will you be getting for the amount of money that you're spending at each event? Now, we have everything from high priced events all the way to um, you can't be free. Cat in the hat. Irie is real. And to me, and I've heard people say, and we're not going to get into splitting hairs with this one. But I've heard people say, well, it ain't really free. Well, by my math, I'm sorry. You're going to pay for a hotel no matter which event you go to. Right. So if you're just paying for a hotel with him and everything else is free, mm -hmm. for me, that's the best value on the books. Yeah. Now, there are people who keep trying to argue with me about how it's not. I've asked them how they can show me the math, but nobody ever does. So... As far as that goes, well, he yeah. is at the lower, the lowest, the lowest spectrum of the event itself. Because you're paying in, for in the cost. room Thursday gonna, through Sunday, right? And it's free breakfast at yeah the hotel at the ho yeah at the host hotels, and he um, has two or three now. So everywhere you go, like you said, you're paying for a hotel right. regardless. You're gonna pay for a hotel and and no matter no what tickets. event you go to. Yeah, you but you pay for it, nothing else. Once you buy book your hotel room, you get your badge, and you got you got access to everything, like. How do you that that's not beatable in my book? Now I've I, like I said, there are people who say that that's not true. All I'm gonna say to you is, prove it to okay, me. Okay, now, now Vegas stepping out of Africa. We you get ready to get there. Okay, okay, right. because she is also operating right. under you the very book the same hotel, and you get premise. your tickets free. Right, and she even mm -hmm. feeds you now, too. Also, that part. And now it's not you, breakfast, but it's um, lunch or dinner. I don't know what category. You and if put you it are in. a local. Your your entry for the weekend is only forty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Forty five dollars. Now that's that's here in Vegas in in two weeks. For the men, it's thirty five dollars for the weekend. Right. Book your room, and everything else is free. There's no beating that. And even if, and, and as a matter of fact, in St. Louis, when Iria, of course, it used to be Step Aganza, is now Step Re Step Union. Mm -hmm. Even then, with his event, 
if you don't book the room, I think the overall 65. weekend cost is sixty five dollars. Yeah, sixty five for the weekend. But I checked all the prices of all the rooms in that same area. The price is almost the same. So if you spend in one hundred and forty dollars, why wouldn't you go stay at the hotel for one hundred and fifty? You getting the free breakfast. You there for the oh my god! It was day parties and it was after parties. Exactly. So how do you? There's no beating that mm-hmm. in terms of value. Right. Now, there are other things, again, that will lend toward the criteria that each individual has to determine whether or not they want to attend any said event. Now, um, I want to read right quick something because it's getting it lends toward what I was about to say next. Um, <clears throat> my man, Reggie Clayton, he says, not sure if this helps, but most of my support for dance is locally. Now, we're going to get into that. If I do travel, drive to Dallas, Baton Rouge, and Atlanta, I save on food, I go old school. Okay, now now he's getting ahead of me. We're going we gonna to get into that in a minute, too. Okay, so the other thing about saving on or value about how you move to these events, consider keeping your travel regional or, or close by, locally, so to speak, uh, so that you don't have such travel expenses. Mm-hmm. We're going to move on to that. But now, back to the value events. Now, there may be events, and I'll give you another example. Let's take Texas Heat, for example. Texas Heat is, to me, a great event. Yeah, now, everything it, was Thursday through Sunday yeah. with the fire sale. He feeds you on Sunday at the brunch. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, the ticket was 125, now, but that fire sale was, of course, cheaper. I think it was but, 100. But, but we uh, we off the we off the fire sale. Part. Okay. What okay. I want to talk about is the value for the dollar. Yeah, because it was Thursday through Sunday now, for that price. Thursday through Sunday. Mm-hmm. And there are other amenities which I'm going to get into later on, but the, for me, the quality of that event alone mm-hmm. was worth the cost now some events are going to cost more than others and some are going to cost less but it goes back to what what it is that motivates you to decide which one you choose over the other now and that again is going to be a personal choice okay but so, going back to like some of the events some some events that thursdays uh you know cost extra so again, we talk in a budget. Everybody's budget is different. Right. So for that That's one, the a la carte. right? A la that carte one, event. it was Thursday through Sunday for that one price. Mm-hmm. But you could have took advantage of the fire sale. I, I want to say the first year they came out, mm-hmm. that fire sale might have been fifty or seventy five dollars. I think it was seventy five, something like okay. that. Okay, so but it, it, regardless, the event itself was a class act. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's not to slight any other promoters because we have promoters who, you know, so, let's face it, all promoters are not created equal. Some people put on better events than others. Let's just face that simple fact. There are people who don't, you know, they, they again, people have their choices. There's levels to this. And for my money, there are things that uh, are worth paying for and others that are not. I mean, if, if you're going to, you can tell me that you're charging $400 for your event and you're giving a bag of popcorn. Now, it's my choice to decide whether or not I still want to attend that event. However, if I do attend that event and I give you my $400, I want my bag of popcorn. So be prepared to provide you're what so you petty. say you're going to provide. Like I don't I'm care petty. about the popcorn. That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not the point. I want my popcorn. Um, and I'm going to be like, really? Yes. The party was off the chain. Call me whatever you want. I'll be petty. Okay, so. I'm going to make him a shirt king, Petty. Again, let's go back to <laughs> value, all right, when it comes to the, the 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 decision that you make. But now keep in mind, if you are paying uh, on the higher echelon of uh, entries, you want to consider how you can cut costs in other areas. Now, back to the apparel for okay. themed events. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's say you go into an event. And they have a particular theme that you that they are uh, asking you to adhere to. Mm-hmm. I've noticed lots of people do shop on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Amazon has a lot of reasonable 
reasonably priced gear. The only problem with shopping on Amazon <laughs> is that you probably go see somebody in the same thing you got on. Yeah. I did see about three people in the same outfit one time. Um, so, I'm going to let you go, look. This is your gonna thing. We're going to go in on that outfit. So. Uh, no. Okay. You, this this the fashion side of the game. I'm gonna let you have that. Go on. Go I on mean, and tell, talk personally, about yeah, like you said, people do shop on Amazon. Sometimes they have good deals as women or men. You just can't help it. But you might take a chance of seeing if it's a large party. You might take a chance on seeing two or three people in the same outfit. But I don't think I overpack. But if I probably see huh. somebody in something I have, I can go to my room and I can go check. Hey, we <laughs> go, we that's get, just me. We're going to get but, into the packing part, well, you too. Like that that too we're coming to that. But, but um, I mean, for shoppers, thrift stores, um, if you know how to now, take outfits and tear them apart, I, I re- buy stuff and I reconstruct it. So Remember, y'all, now we're talking, and he, about, and he re- we talking about shopping. On, we're talking about attending on a budget. Uh, there are people who will say, oh, I ain't shopping in no thrift store. I'm not going to the Goodwill, that kind of thing. Oh, you know and who's real good at shopping on uh, thrift stores? And he'll tell you, Locke. Oh, yeah. And Locke, he'll go Locke buy Locke stones Locke, and put them on. Locke and, be coming up with some good stuff. Um, Yeah, I mean, if you're not creative, you got a girlfriend or a guy friend that might be a creative. Or a lot of people out here sew. Yeah. A lot of people have businesses. and um, yeah. uh, Darlinda. Darlinda makes clothes. Yes, uh, yes. Um, Chicago, uh, you can get everything Charnese made almost at every other corner. Clothes. Yeah. Um, Sarah Teagle, Sarah Teagle yeah. sells clothes. Teagle. Um, I don't know who Pete all Frazier. the, oh yeah, Pete Frazier makes clothes. We got a lot of people clothes. in the community who make clothes yeah. as well. Um, but, but now when you getting stuff made, it's not cheap. So don't be thinking and, you're going to get some and five let's consider finger this. discount. If you go to a thrift store, you if you go to a made. secondhand shop, don't nobody need to know that. Right. I'm just saying, you know, you, there are places, uh, uh, places that, uh, thrift stores and secondhand or what they call resale shops. <clears throat> Consignment shops, some, estate have some sales. Really nice uh designer stuff. Me personally you know? I like a lot of vintage stuff, so I do a lot of estate sales. So Right. So you got a state sale. And then you can buy it and reconstruct it or take it to a seamstress or a tailor and they can mm-hmm. reconstruct and have it. Have it cut for you. Now these are just things that we're throwing out there on ways to not have to just break the budget or lose your mind every time, you know, something comes up that you want to go to. And again, you know, I mean, let's let's I'm, all that bougie stuff, man. Look, don't get me wrong. You know, I can be bougie too, but we talking about people. No, don't nobody need to know what your finances are unless you just want to tell them about it. Otherwise, you know, there's a way to do everything. Um, let's see. Renee Figueroa says, "I see that all the time. Uh, all same outfits. <laughs> a lot of women embrace it and even see them take pics together." So it all depends on the individuals. I would not mind someone having the same outfit is what it is sometimes. You know what? <clears throat> it's funny you say that, uh, Renee, because the thing is I've seen women in the same outfit and look completely different. Yeah, so I don't it, care. It, but, I mean, in Texas, it was a 70s thing. We, yeah. I kind of saw some of the same people. Actually, me and another lady had on the same jumpsuit. Yeah, in fact. my mind, I was Pam Greer, and I bought this <laughs> Pam Greer jumpsuit. And y- y'all know I'm a little top-heavy, so I thought I was Pam Greer. Then I saw another sister, and we both looked at each other, and we was like, oh, okay. She looked cute, and I look cute. And like um, Renee said, we right. took a picture. And and and. But uh, I normally, if I see somebody, so I'm going to change. Susu says she a thrift store shopper. That's right, Susu. Uh, and then, um, wait, 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 let me put my bid in since you're a thrift store shopper. I need some, um, guest blue jean jackets, a Levi jackets, and I will send you the money, Susu. Now, when you now Michelle shopping. Austin Brown says normalize wearing an outfit more than once. Now I don't disagree with that, but me, I, now, now this is where I get a little bougie cause I, I feel, and I do it. But well, see, your men, y'all could be different. You well, can wear I'm black suits and switch ready, up your now, ties. I, that's and what I'm getting. I'm getting ready to give my men some tips right quick. Um, Reggie Clayton say he doesn't think he, he says I don't think you'll be asked to leave if you don't have on the right attire, would you? No, most times not. Now I have seen mm, some of Chicago just say, parties. Now, I, I, I've, I've seen gone outside of Chicago yeah, too. I have seen people uh, charge you more money. Yeah. If you're not properly yeah. attired. I know Pete Fridge's um, parties are charged a little more if you don't follow the color thing. Yes. They will they will hit you. They will tax you for that. Um, but the thing is, when it comes to the apparel. And uh, then wait a minute, some people sometimes think it's a little disrespectful if you don't follow the themes, I guess. 
But like you said, some people charge you extra. Some people are just glad to be there. Oh yeah, that's and I don't true know. Too. I don't know too many. But I don't think no T-shirt, like, gym shoes, you can't come and in jeans. Here. Right. Let's not be disrespectful with it. Step a sharp is still a thing, you know. And I think that everybody should exercise that as a, a, a out of respect for the culture when showing up to an event, especially the main event. You can get away with stuff, you know, other parts of the event, but you know, let's keep that. Let's keep that where that belong. Um, okay, so we down. We got the tickets. We got our gear. We got our clothes. We ready. We covered all the, everything on the clothes. We good on that? Mm, yeah. Okay. Because that, cause that's subjective. There's so many things we could do in that, in that regard. Oh, fellas, listen to me. The easiest thing that you can do for yourself, black pants, preferably a you know, black little suit. baggy, little baggy, you know, with a no, little, little cuff. No, I baggy. Because people like <laughs> wearing saying, straight know, legs I now. I, I ain't into that straight leg thing. Anyway, black Always works. Ladies and gentlemen, black always works. You can always mix it up. You can always match it up. You can always do things with black, and it never looks the same if you do it the right way. So just keep that in mind. You can take a black suit, throw on a different tie, a different color shirt, a different pair of shoes. You can wear that same suit all damn near all year long and get away with it if you know how to do it. Now, you go buying stuff with fruity colors, which I'm a fruity color kind of guy myself, uh, fruity color, fruity colors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, we wear, what's, you know, what's a fruity color? You know, I don't know. A little pink, pink some yellow. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, okay. you know, like some the tricks. Fly. Hey, look, don't play no games. <laughs> Orange and, shirt. And people be <laughs> wanting to make jokes, but let me tell you something. I'm from Chicago. We dress. You dig? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like colors. I like colors. Now I've been wearing a lot of black and red, mainly because of the brand of Inside Stepping. But my point is this: black always works. You can do so much with that um basic black or any neutral color will work exactly reggie clayton mm -hmm. um so you can do a lot with black ladies and and then some people you know like what you're saying you keep with the ba if you keep it with the basic colors because some people right. just don't really care about white, shopping you but can get away with a lot with white you can get away with a lot with those basic colors uh right. if you just mix them around change them around a little bit and it doesn't take away uh from anything you 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 can you can work them um so just and the only reason I said about getting away from the color thing is if you're a person that's on a budget and you don't have a lot of money to be spending on clothes because, you know, we got guys out here that they got a suit cut for every month, every day of the week for the next six months. Mm -hmm. They can afford that. Okay. Well, you got some so. people that, huh? well, some people just so. Yeah, so there's you know some people so, do, right. but you got some people that just straight up, you know what I'm saying, they got oh, yeah, it like so, that. Yeah, they, yeah. But, you know, we you ain't got to keep up with them. Mm -hmm. Um and, and you can do that because, like, for example, I was talking to somebody like that mm -hmm. not too long ago. And the fact is, he told me, he was like, yeah, I'll wear that suit. I wore it this year. I'll put it back in the closet. You won't. You might not see it again for a year or two more. It's just that, I mean, uh, and I ain't going to lie, I got a couple of shirts that I haven't worn in a few years. They about do. They about do for rotation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got a couple of dresses I haven't it's worn certain, in, like, two years. Things, and, 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 and for me and her, it's a little crazy because... We're always on camera and we're always, and I ain't going to lie, y'all. I don't even want to see myself in the same thing all the time. So I have to keep it switched up. Now, when y'all see me in my uniform, that's because it's my uniform. So that way I get away with a little more. <laughs> so. Now, I'm going to say this for ladies and local ladies. Like I had mm, maybe three <laughs> big bags of clothes that I was going to donate, but oh, I called yeah. a couple friends and. Now they've been they, gifted. Yes. So ladies who swap clean your closets out. out, do a swap party. Yeah. That's a great idea. Do a now, swap party. And and right. And and that that's just another way to increase your wardrobe, change some things up, you know. I had a ball last week and I really thought I went somewhere. I we did wardrobing hmm. with um some friends and switched some stuff up. I do sell clothes, so I had a couple outfits that I sold. And I got to do makeup all day on Saturday. Oh, I, just, I was just time. in heaven for the weekend. Okay, Clothes see. on Friday, makeup so on ladies, Saturday. Get with your homies. Switch up. Yeah, some switch stuff. up outfits. And and the funny part is nobody ever notice. No, because <laughs> anybody with class is not going to go. Girl, that was my outfit. Uh, yeah. Well, hopefully you got classy well, friends. Yes, <laughs> I do. I do. Okay, so now you got your tickets, got your gear. Now we got to figure out how to get there. Okay, transportation. Transportation, so, y'all. It's time to get to the set, wherever it is. Right, so want to start off with rent-a-cars. Want to start off with that? 
Because if you local, like how yeah, what, yeah, yeah, what yeah. Um, Mr. Clayton said, um, we in Texas. God knows Texas is huge as hell. It feels like a whole nother country. So yeah. well, we be <laughs> it all take over. Twelve this hours to get from one end of if Texas. You, to the it next. literally take you twelve hours to drive from one end of Texas to the other, going Thank across I ten. Hey, Miss Phyllis. I've been looking uh, for her. Phyllis. Man, God is been, good. You're safe. Thank we've you. We've been worried about you, lady. You need to call in, check in or something. Hey, G-Rob. Okay, we're not uh, going to start <laughs> the name. Sorry. Right. So, um, so traveling. So if we're in one state, we're going to use Texas because we got Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, Houston. Um, now, we're just talking about Texas yeah. right now. But now, because Texas is so big, it's sort of like being in a certain region. If you live, for example, let's say in a Memphis well, Alabama, you got all of those surrounding cities. You got Birmingham, you got Atlanta, you got Memphis, uh, and all of those other surrounding cities where people dance and they have little pockets of steppers right in through there and they give a lot of sets. So that's a good thing. Now, okay, but wait a minute. If you in Houston, you're close to Louisiana too. Or like yeah, you said, Mississippi. Close to Baton Rouge. Yeah, so yeah. you don't mind driving. So right. you could do a rent a car, right? So we got now one of the when it comes to the rental car. Now rental cars used to be a good idea because they were so inexpensive, especially if you didn't have to have the luxury version. Right, you could get an economy and you drive that thing, and you know you beat but the wheels off of it. If you but, have friends in your same city or you well, know or state, to to okay, go, go ahead. No, go. You could share. Right. So if you share a rental car, <clears throat> you know. Right, you can share a rental car. Like okay, if you split the cost on a rental car to get to an event. Now, that depends because sometimes people, um, there are people, a lot of people who just don't want to ride in a car. For yeah, hours. some people don't like, yeah. They just can't do it. I but love riding in the car. It, yeah, I just I don't, know. I just do don't want to drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all you do is ride. I do all the time. I get the driving. best sleep. This is how I be. Y'all see how I be working? She worked me to death, y'all. I, I have to part. I got to set up, do shows. Then I got to get in the doggone car and drive. See how she do me? I love road trips. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> uh oh, here come the other producer. What you got? Yes, a passenger. Oh, I'm a passenger princess. Uh, producer lady just called. Just got called a passenger princess, right? Okay, thank you. Like a pillow princess. I have a crown, know. and I'm gonna start wearing that when we Please go riding. Don't. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so all you, you can when you start going to these uh, local events or events that are in your region, rather than fly, you can rent cars. You can use. The other, what is it, the apps that they have out okay, now? Okay, so, um, but somebody just put it yeah, up, Turo. Somebody just said Turo, yes, that was one on our list. Um, now, I'm going to tell you, when we was in Arizona, it was a weird one, Fox. I never heard of Fox around the car. I think we used Fox Yes, and I got that car for like $150 or 200 for the, for the weekend. We there, yeah. And we were there from Thursday to Sunday. And he literally just dropped it off in the airport and carried on. Right. Um. But I'm going to say this for promoters. I don't know. Some people, if they have their pro, um, business set up as a corporate or a business, you can get rental cars at a discount. Really? Yes. So they could, if you're so a business. They could, so they could do like they do the hotels and put a, a code on it or something? Yep. You get a corporate code. All right. Promoters, y'all hear that. And you get a, a discount on your rental cars. So now let's go back to if you have friends in your city or your state and people want to ride together in a van or whatever, you you know, you can split that. Um so uh, you can get points on your credit cards for rental cars that'll help you save money. Yeah. So thank God my children Travel listen. Points. So one of my daughters, listen, had lots of points. She got a rental car for $54. Wow. I said, yes. I'm so glad she listens. <laughs> $54. And she had the car for seven days with all of her points. Dang. So She killed the game yeah, with she that did. one. Yes. $54. Um, Harris says you can rent from some car dealerships as well. Oh, really? I now, didn't know I that. I remember That's one, a good tip. one time we were in Chicago and something else was going on. There were no rental cars anywhere in the city. Not one. Now that's a that's I forgot. Where were we? Was that Atlanta? That was in Chicago. That was Chicago. Oh yeah, yeah. it was Chicago. Yeah, they told us we could go to nowhere. Indiana. I'm like, who's driving to Indiana? They had one car, car in Indiana in what what it wasn't even Gary. What was it? I don't know, but thank God we have family and friends because several people was like, well, just come pick my extra car up. Right. So we're lucky that way. Thank you. Yes, so, thank you, Jesus. So that's <laughs> just a consideration for when you are um, when you're going to travel with 
other people. It's a, it's a good way to save money. If you double up, triple up, quadruple up in a car, it's for y'all. You split the cost on a rental car. You just solved a major travel expense. Right, right. Because we go to Houston a lot and we take a lot of people with us. And no problem. They don't mind riding. But let me say this. Make sure you guys are all on the same page. Because I give a disclaimer if you ride in a car with me. Um, we're going to probably stay at the party <laughs> late. We might do an after party because that's just how we roll. Um, you can't hang. Don't ride No with cigarette us. smoking in the car. Um, right. No weed. None of that in the car. And you will not drive me crazy. Right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, you they do can, enough. They, they can't be a chatty patty. Yeah, if you talk oh, no, a little no. too I much. I don't care. I, no, 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 no. You can I talk. They can talk. Yeah, because you can keep him up. I'm going to sleep. But, but yeah. I don't. I don't. Make sure you have all those rules together before you ride in the car right, with everybody. Because, last, Cause cause we it, have seen people go places together and damn near be fighting by the time. Oh, I'm gonna tell you it's a pet peeve of mine. <clears throat> they slow. We go into we go on to stop at my favorite spot, Bucky's, and we like we're gonna be back in the car in 15, 20 minutes. And if we gotta sit and wait an extra 15 minutes, I know me and you, we're gonna be irritated. You're gonna get left. But anybody rides in the car <laughs> with us, so far we have not had any craziness with us but just make sure you have all those rules set up before y'all start right, riding in the right, car together right absolutely look and, and, and here's regina talking about say it louder for the people in the back are you talking about me singing all the way see, oh see that didn't bother us because i sleep <laughs> we, right through it we didn't have no problem with you regina and there because there are actually very few people we will allow to ride with us only because we have our own personal quirks and we are fortunate that we have people who are respectful of those quirks who like to ride with us, and we just get along that way. So right. you gotta pick a, you gotta have a tight crew. And Phyllis, I'm calling you, Phyllis Harrington. I I, I didn't Me forget. Oh, no, Harrington. I'm talking to Harrington. Oh, hey, Phyllis, I didn't see her on there. Hey. Yes, Miss Lovett. Okay, so yes, Renee Craft. Renee Craft says rules are important. Yes, they. Yes, are. get the rules the, set the, up before the, y'all the get in the car. The trick is respect. Let's respect one another. Let's respect one another's space which we're going to get into that when we get to the hotel side of this thing because we're coming to that next. Okay. So right. then we got the rental car covered. So we can do an airfare now? Air, right. Airlines? Okay, let's airlines. About, let's talk about the flights. Okay. Now, so. Lady Sings the News put up one of our favorite tips earlier. Yeah, she said get flights on Tuesday. Listen, y'all. Another Tuesday night. Don't go too fast. Okay. Tuesday after midnight. Or is it, is it before midnight? I'm it's the one who knows the tip and the trick, and then you're going to tell me. You was moving on to something else. You told me I was going too fast. Yeah, because I don't want you to move on to the else. Talk about the Tuesday tip. That's what I was getting drop ready it. to say. Then drop it like okay. it's hot. Let's go back. Tuesday. You know what? Matter of fact, get up and go twerk. Right? <laughs> Tuesday. Put some music on. Tuesday <laughs> it, after midnight, you can sometimes get some good deals. Tuesdays or Wednesdays after midnight, you can get some good deals. Um, What was you going to add to that? Nothing. I just wanted you to tell them what time. When I said like. after midnight. Okay, now, that's what also, I, I, but well, no, don't, I don't know what lady sings the news had, has for Tuesday and Wednesday, but I know mine, though, mine was after midnight. You had in your notes uh, a I point about- I made too about, many notes. No, you didn't. <laughs> a point about um, how to make that work. Because if you got, like, okay, here, y'all. Sometimes if you, it's weird how they operate in these systems. The oh, you're talking about, stuff, okay, right? okay, you're going to talk about that. Okay, yeah. so- or if you have a what's that thing VPN? Yeah. If you have VPN, which is a well, I'm gonna tell you what I have. I have a a business phone that I can take and travel with, or I can just take it and plug it in the room, and then I can go on there and use what is it I'm doing? It's like the VPN. Explain the VPN part. Okay, here's what happens. I know what I'm doing, but I can't explain if, what the VPN if, is. It's almost like the they they have they read these algorithms and they can tell when you keep checking in and that kind of thing. So they, they don't it's like if you change browsers, you can get a better doggone uh uh rate. It's right. weird. Yeah, it's really weird. We have different phones and different computers that we use just for that. And it's crazy. You literally can go in on your computer and it's one price, and then you can go clean, clear your browser and your cookies, mm -hmm. and then it's another price. Or then you have to go to another, what is it called? Search engine. So I said VPN or DuckDuckGo. Duck, oh, I've never go. did yeah. DuckDuckGo. Mm -hmm. um, or you change your search engine on a computer, and you go up to the right. Use I Firefox. can use Firefox. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, I use Firefox. My daughter told me this one. So you go to Firefox, and you go up in the right-hand corner. It's a, something that looks like a little tuxedo. You click on that. And you go put in what airlines, and the price literally changed um, 
a hundred damn a hundred dollars. <laughs> It's just, I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, cuz. $100. It saved $100 on the flight. So the flight was $343. I'm going to use Vegas. It was $343. And I ended up getting it for $249 just by going in on Firefox mm -hmm. and changing out the browser. Just that so simple. clean your cookies. If you don't know how to clean your cookies, um, Google is your friend. Yeah, Google is your friend. I just remember click over in the right and hit what says cookies and it clears out. Mm -hmm. It might take a while, depending on how old your computer is, how much you use it, or the VPN. Or oh, I'm going to tell you another trick. I don't know if everybody can do this, but when you're at work, I go, my job is in a certain zip code. I literally can go in on a computer, which I guess because it's a different, mm -hmm. uh, yep. what is it? Different considered? I mean, you, you're not IP on your, address, yeah, different IP right, address. I, yeah, IP and the address. prices are cheaper um, mm -hmm. using the work computer. Right. So those are tips and tricks to actually save Lady Sings money. The news says if you don't have a VPN, use incognito mode on Chrome. Okay, thank too. you. Incognito right. mode. Yeah, that's crazy so, how you can... um. Now, don't be afraid also, y'all. You you can also use the different... Uh, what is it? The websites, the... Um, oh, the the okay. Dog? So, you can, put your, um, you can put your computer on Google Alerts. Google oh, Alerts yeah, will give Google. you different prices. Google Flights. You can type in Google yeah, Flights. Yeah, Google Flights. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Wait a minute, y'all. I got notes in it, and I can't see because the room is dark. Let's see. Are you staring at me? I feel like you're staring at me on my left side. I can feel your eyes like burning on me. Good Lord. You told me to write all these notes and then I wrote them all. It's like so well, many. You're supposed to be able to keep up with your notes. I can't even read your hand right, let alone read That's your notes. That's a shame. You can't read my writing. I, wrote, oh, I sat scratch. here and took all this time to write it so nice and neat and yeah. you can't read it. All righty. Here we go. Google Flights. Priceline, in case y'all writing this down, I'm going slow. Uh, skip lag is a really good one. Yeah, skip lag. Now, let me explain to you how skip lag works. Yeah, explain that one. Uh, and Lady Things News, Lady Things News, I should have just had you on the show because she over here dropping all the heat. Secure credit saying? card to award you points. We're going to get to that, lady. See, you just, oh, yeah. you just all Well, we kind of said it a little early she about the points, the but that's okay. Uh, now, let me show y'all how skip lag works. Skip lagged. Now, the, the, there's, what they do is, if you go on there, Skip Lagged can find you a flight going to where you're going to go. The catch to Skip Lagged is this. You can't check a bag. You have to take a carry-on because this is what will happen. They will find a flight that has a layover <laughs> in a city, the city that you're actually trying to go to rather than the final destination that's cheaper than if you flew to the final destination on another airline. Right. So if you're a fashion diva or a fashion devo, that will not work for you. Right. This is for the people who <laughs> travel light. Right. Right. So let's get back to the airlines. Now, this was because I, I said we was going to do this topic last year, but, you know, stuff just be happening. But so this price is that I have it for last year. We know after COVID and all this, everything is changing. But like Alaska Airlines, first bag is $30. Second bag is $40. American Airlines, Delta, JetBlue, first bag, $30. Second, second bag, $40. If the prices change, put it in there um, in the comments. United, $30. First bag, second bag, $40. Southwest, Zero. Zero for the bags. The first two bags are free. Now, one of the reasons we fly Soul Plane on a regular basis. Yeah, because it's definitely. And if y'all watch <laughs> because, Saturday Night Live, they just tour Southwest up on Saturday Night Live. It's because when we travel, particularly when we're doing these shows, we have bags with equipment. And so it makes it easier for us. And the promoter. And, and the promoter who pays us to come there. It makes it easier on everybody because we don't have to pay an extra expense for the bags. So that makes it more practical. See, this is, again, practicality for individuals. It makes it more practical for us to fly that particular airline for that reason. And we need nonstop flights and because non -stop transferring flights. planes and losing luggage and losing cameras. It's not an option for no, us. No, got to have a straight <laughs> flight. I got to have all my stuff intact when I get where I'm going. Okay, so then getting back. So we went over the airlines. Of course, everybody's city is different on the airlines. Um, so Google flights is one and you can put an alert on, I said price line. We said skip lag. You explained how to use skip lag. Mm -hmm. Now here's one I, I, um, got on Kiwi. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Kiwi.com. That one was pretty interesting. Another one, Sky All Scanner. Right, Reggie, thank you for checking in, bro. Travelocity. What is that other mm -hmm. one? Orbits. Yep. Orbit. I said price line. And then I found this other one. I cannot pronounce it. Um, mm -hmm. so any of my 
grammar Nazis or uh, uh, phonics lovers. M O M O N D O. Momondo. Okay. Momondo. I found that one. I haven't checked it out though, but uh, someone else told me about that. They said that was a, a pretty good one. And then one of our inside step of family members that flies and travels all the time. Uh, Riri said Expedia, right? Oh, yeah, Expedia. That's another now good let me, one. Now, let me tell y'all something, too, though. And this is, uh, you want to be careful with those uh, third-party bookings because you want to make sure everything is, all the ducks are in a row in the way they're supposed to be because getting your money back is like mm -hmm. jumping through 9,000 hoops. Mm. Uh, hotwire. Oh, yeah, Hotwire, yeah. Thanks, it's Antonio another good Allen. one, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> You know, that's you. These are the things. You know, their considerations. Again, traveling on a budget can be a little challenging. It, it can be a little inconvenient, but in the end, it can be worth it. But like, if you do, you know, some of these parties is going on. If you do it six months in advance, like when I inside stepping family members that is going to Chicago when we go there in Dallas. They're from Chicago. They live in Dallas. She got a ticket for seventy nine dollars from mm. Dallas to Chicago. Now and she bought also, that ticket way far in advance. But let's also remember this too: where you live or flying out of is going to determine. Yeah, because Atlanta, you can get good the price flights. Houston, of a lot of the, your flights because yeah. I can tell you right now, yeah, flying out of Atlanta is is like beautiful. Yeah, flying out of Houston is a beautiful thing. Yeah, I got some fifty nine dollars tickets out of San from Atlanta Antonio one time. is a joke. Yeah, we literally a lot of times we will drive. From here to Austin and get on a plane. And save, you know, save about $300. Wait, and we save 300 bucks. Yep. So there's another thing. Always, if you have more than one local airport, don't just check the one. Houston has two airports. Uh, Chicago has two airports and so on. Check these other airports and see what you can get in terms of pricing uh, for the dates that you want to travel. And you might find yourself saving a lot of money. Right. Now, Riri said she didn't have a problem getting her money back. I know a lot of people that have problems getting their money back from um, Priceline. So you better read the small print. Because one sure time better. we went to an event. The promoter had the hotel from Ooh, Friday boy. to Sunday. <laughs> and we decided to go on Thursday. Normally, I never have any problems getting a hotel on Priceline. So, because I go to Houston a lot, I could just literally get in the car and go on Priceline and find a room en route. So I'm like, okay, no big deal. When we go to um, Arizona, I decided to get a hotel. It was a trap hotel. I'm we, like, were there. I'm not we got there a day early. We flew in a day <laughs> early because y'all know I'm a jeweler. And Arizona is my spot for supplies for my jewelry business where we I go and buy stones and, and yes. silver and all kinds of stuff. So we flew in a day early to so we can know, shop. do some shopping. And we attempted to rent a room at a hotel not far from where we were going to be staying, like within a few miles. And baby, let me tell you, that was the whole house to hell. That place was off was, the chain. I think it was a crack house. Crack house. And holes, the man was trying was to all, talk. I'm like, sir, it was I going wouldn't, down. I was like, I wouldn't let my dog or cat stay in this place. Yeah, but so luckily we, we was able to go to the host hotel and we was just able to get the room yeah, anyway. It, it was sold room, out. Right? But somehow they mysteriously found us a room for yeah, Thursday. So that worked out. Um, you want to read this, what she's saying on here, one of the inside stepping family members? All right. Members? One of our, my girl Kim over there in Dallas, she said, book your flight early, especially with Southwest. Check back continuously for price reductions as you will get credits. Oh, I didn't know that. Sign up for Southwest Point Program. Compare different airlines for best value, taking into consideration baggage costs. Book, pay later. Rental cars early for best rates, so you have the option to cancel for a cheaper rate or if you no longer need it. Choose functions that don't require a rental car. Now, right. great advice. So now getting to that one. Choose events that you don't have we to gonna, have a we gonna get to rental that. car. Okay. But that goes back to value, though. Okay. But we're going to talk about that because I want to talk about you know what how the promoters can help Okay. cut costs for the consumers, and it makes, it more, makes their event more appealing. Right. So make sure y'all read the comments because a lot of people are dropping a lot of good information. Right. Now, we pretty much covered a lot of stuff on flights. There's a ton of stuff you can do. Now, keep in mind that Southwest Airline, as Sheila White was pointing out, has great reward point programs. Yes, they do. We have flown a lot off of points. Yes. So um, that is always a good thing. And as was stated earlier, make sure that you um, get credit cards. 
that have point points. programs. So I know Southwest has um, a credit card. If you yes. get the Southwest credit card, which is under Chase, you get 10,000 points. Right. Um, if you, um, yeah, if you sign up. So when you go on there and if you don't have a Southwest credit card, if you go on Southwest, get your tickets and apply for the Southwest credit card, you get approved, you get $200 immediately off of that flight. So say if the flight was $400, you get $200 off. You only pay $200 round trip right. and you get the credit card, you get 10,000 points. And I think if you pay it off in 90 days, I think you get an extra you get some extra points. I don't remember what the points are. And Southwest, you can also buy points. Delta, you can buy points also, um, which is pretty good. So they have, like when they have these sales going on, you can go in there and buy points because the points are on sale also, to my knowledge. I haven't okay. ever bought any points. So I don't All know right. That one. So now we've managed to cover the price of the tickets. We got our clothes. We done packed our bags. Oh, let me well, say this. For the ones who like to ball and like nice stuff, you have all these points and you have these credit cards with all these frequent flyer. Um, you, you take advantage of these frequent flyer programs. A lot of times you have lounge access. The one in Atlanta is always off the chain. Yeah. The one in Atlanta <laughs> is always off the chain. So you might want to take advantage of that. Plus, you get discounts sometimes from um, rental cars. Okay, carry on. All right. So we've gotten our event tickets. We got our clothes ready. Oh. We done packed our bags. You just I'm so sorry. Up. I got another good tip. Keep going. So check this out. <laughs> a lot of times the points don't expire on certain airlines, but this is a little morbid, but it's good information. <laughs> if you die and you have a will oh, or a trust, right. I know it's a little morbid, but you can will your points. Oh. Isn't that crazy? You can will your points. You can will your points. It's like money. Willing your money, huh? Yeah, it's money. It's Dig money. That. You can literally put in your will. Money. I you have a half in? a million dollar points. You can't cash them in, but your family member can take advantage of those points. Dig that. Yes. All right. All right. So now, again, you got something else? No. Okay. You going to stop me this time? Nope. All right. You got tickets for the event. You got your clothes. You got your bags packed. You done figured out how you're going to get there. Flights is all taken care of or you're driving, whichever. And oh, and by the way, y'all don't be ashamed if it's a bunch of y'all. Uh, Riri, who was here on the line, her and a few of the guys from uh, Houston, rent and go to uh, keep it simple every year. Van drive away rather than fly. It's a couple of hours, enough people in the car to drive in the van. Should I say, with a good amount of people, you got a, <laughs> you got a nice trip there. A lot of good folks you get the fellowship with on the way. Um, <clears throat> got your transportation together, right? So now you are, you have arrived wait, in wait, the wait. city. What? You, Ladies, you my shopping diva <laughs> and devos, make sure that suitcase is not over how many pounds? 50 pounds. So Mr. Forbes is always managed to get it to 49. Point point. Nine, 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 yes. nine. Don't play Because no otherwise you are going to pay extra for the bag. So <laughs> keep that important for my sisters out yes. there that have 10 pairs of shoes in the bag and all that fun stuff. You talking about yourself. No. <laughs> that woman had about 15 pairs of shoes, about 30 outfits. You can take it our whole closet with us where we go. No, I don't. Plus equipment. Mm -mm. I'm shot. I'm packing real light this time. That's what your mouth say. Anyway, that's see, this is what happens when you don't lay your outfit out before you go. I do you like lay throw a bunch out. of stuff in the bag. I what? do lay I do lay my stuff out. You don't even wear half of it. <laughs> but I, what you talking I about? I have to just in case you see somebody in it, I gotta have an extra outfit so I can go change. Is that right? Right. All right. Okay. Anyway, so now we have arrived at the event city. We done landed. We at the airport. The first thing you got to ask yourself, did the promoter consider you coming? Did the promoter provide you with transportation? Now, some promoters are mindful enough to have a shuttle that travels between the airport and their event uh, a hotel. Yeah, because I remember like the that. first time we went to Black and Bling, we drove, but I like the idea the ho the hotels remember dropping people off and picking them up. I thought that was well, pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, but that now if they if they've chosen a hotel that um, has a shuttle service, then yeah, cool. that was sweet. Yeah, but that but this goes back to the, my promoters. This goes back to the promoters' consideration of um, logistics. Logistics are very important as promoters should be considering how people who are not going to rent cars 
are going to move about throughout the city. Now, I know a lot of that is the consumer's problem, but it also adds to the appeal of an event when people don't have... Look, we've been to events, y'all, where literally we get there, where we've driven, park our truck, and it don't move the whole weekend. Yeah. We don't have to do nothing because everything is right there in the host hotel. Those two, I ain't going to lie, those are my favorite events, y'all. Those are the ones that stand out the most to me um, in terms of value for the, you know, for the stuff that we pay he for. He just likes it because he has to drive. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, you're right. But, I mean, you think about it. Uh, if I'm if I'm going to an event, and it, and it makes it even more convenient for me, especially because we do these live broadcasts, I don't want to be toting them bags in and out of that car all day. Yeah, or, you know, that's every true. Every time we go that's somewhere, true. I got to set up and tear down. And I got to, you know, if we're in a host hotel, I get set up in the main ballroom. Boom, we done. That's it. Right. We we golden. When we were at um, uh, Texas Heat, everything, even though that was a huge hotel and we had a lot of walking to do, but still. We needed those steps. We didn't have to go. <laughs> <laughs> we needed those steps. <laughs> Y'all hear this crap. Anyway, um. So that's just one consideration. Then, uh, if the promoter has thought about it, and I have known promoters in the past to provide transportation from airports to those that are flying in. Yep. Um, they run a little shuttle service, get a couple, rent a couple of vans, and they make sure that their people get back and forth. Um, then you have the events that you go to where you, it's up to you to get wherever you got to go, which now goes back into what we talked about in terms of rental cars again. You can then find the best option for rental, Turo, uh, uh, rental car companies, the less expensive rental car companies. You know, they used to be Or like some people company. just want to drive their own cars. Well, know? yeah, but I'm, I'm just, I'm talking about people who get to an event and got to figure out how to get around and yeah, drive yeah, their yeah. own car. Yeah, yeah, Okay, I'm sorry. I zoned out, y'all. I was having a senior moment. <laughs> there you go. Um, I was trying to read the, the um, everybody got this stuff I was reading while you was talking. So, yeah, so... Uh, you have to, these are things that need to be taken under consideration. And the whole trick is to save money. So, what you're going to want to do, and I've known people to actually get on the bus in some cities. I don't, and I'm not going to lie, I'm a little too bougie for that. I'm not getting on the bus. But you got you your Uber, get on the bus you got Lyft. Huh? Nothing. I ain't a kid. No, I know. You but I'm just saying, you ain't never liked the bus. <laughs> you got Uber, right. I didn't like it when I was young. You got, you got Uber, you got Lyft. And in some cities, I, I think the rates are a little higher in some cities, aren't they? For what? Uber Rent a car? Lyft. Oh, yeah. Where are you? Yeah. I told you I was reading the comments. I'm good now. Huh. I'm back. I'm back to the. Back? I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> You're just saying you sitting here with me now? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. I don't know because we've never did Uber and Lyft. Right. So, anyway. Yeah, I don't um, know. But, yeah, listening to some people have told me, yeah, the fees, rates is different. I think Chicago, Uber and Lyft people tell me it's pricey. I don't know. I think so. Yes, yeah, so I don't um, know about that. Now, one, let me also uh, uh, well, say Well, a lot of people, sometimes, you know, people are friendly and sociable. They meet people at the events and they drive them back to wherever they're going. Now, that's true, too. I have seen people we connect, all a family. Up, connect up at events and help other people with transportation needs, especially like Stepaganza, you know, because everything you had to convention True, Black center, and Bling. I don't know. Some men, we met some people took them back to the yeah, hotel. We, we, I don't yeah. even know. I don't even Black remember Black and Bling name. and Step Reunion or Stepaganza, we have seen people connect up with each other and because I think Stepaganza had the convention center. Yeah, we took people back and forth. And, and yeah. then two hotels was constantly parties going on. So there were people moving around um, between each other, between those uh, events, uh, just connecting up with people. So that's always a good thing because most steppers are pretty uh, cordial in that way. Um, I mean, we're that way. We, we've, you know, carried people with us to and fro. Just one of the, I say Chicago tricks. If you don't know them, sit in the back. Put them in the front. <laughs> <laughs> what you trying to say, baby? I'm just saying. Um, I remember clearly, I think it was black and bling. We met some people and we took them back to the hotel and we didn't know them at all. And then I was kind of giving you a side eye. Like how you know they might not they might uh kidnap us or something. They'd have got <laughs> shot. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Anyway, okay. uh uh so yeah, you know, we yeah. gotta we gotta look out for each other. Yes, it's a stepping <laughs> family. Everybody you feel pretty good. Somebody knows of somebody, so we were safe. I was just joking. But um <laughs> <laughs> we were safe. Oh my god. But I still had to sit behind them. Anyway, um so <clears throat> the point be and whoever it was probably watching the show, now they're going to talk about you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, 
you know, and and this and and here's the important part about what we're talking about right now in terms of uh, helping other people out. In this stepping arena, in this culture, in this stepping family, it is extremely important. And Lady Sings the News and I were fortunate enough to have a conversation this afternoon, and we were discussing this very thing. Relationships. It is important that we build relationships with one another. The reason why some some things work better than others in the round of steppers community is because of the relationships that have been developed and built among people in the community. So always consider that that to be that to be a goal within this dance because it is a social dance. We are a partner dance and in that that we want to just, you know, I'm not saying you got to be, you know, making friends with people because a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that just because we all dance together that we're friends and that's not necessarily true but we can look out for each other that's not gonna hurt nobody all right i definitely made a good friend though made a couple good friends in this yeah i was dance. gonna say we um, both have we yeah community so. this this community it, has brought looking, a lot of really good people blessed together. blessed yeah but um getting back to the Hotel information, I think one of the things that I like, because remember in the beginning, we never would stay in the host hotel. We would always stay yeah. outside of the host hotel. Sometimes you can catch because better deals. Because we save money. Yeah, we would save money. But then we started staying in the now host hotel, that, and it's but way that, more but that convenient. Was, that was provided we had... Uh, we, were, we, we, were, we had driven and we had the transportation, or we rented a car. Right. But a lot of times if we didn't stay in the host hotel we saved a a, a, a lot of money right so but it it is it, it, for a promoter and like you say that the promoters are either looking out for you if you are at an event and you're at their host hotel they have a shuttle that can take you to the event that's definitely a good plus. Right. Now, then you don't have to thing. worry about drinking and driving or edibles and, and riding or whatever. And the Texas boys were have been mindful enough in their events to make sure that people got to and from through shuttle. Yes, and Texas he out, had that too, the yeah. um, shuttle, the shout, first one. The shout first out, one. out to Maurice Turner in Atlanta yes. for XL Transportation yes. because he does and will, promoters, he will show up in your city with a couple of his vans and provide transportation to make sure people get to and from. Right. Uh, Texas Heat had it um uh black and bling had it and so this is just another thing to consider i can't even don't even name all the events because it was just yeah and so you know promoters keep those people in mind and there is a fee of course uh for transport i think he charged like what five dollars from yeah. one place to the but next. it's worth it especially if you drink it's worth yeah. it um and then if you drove in you don't have to worry about driving any for the weekend right. but i'm gonna say this staying in a host hotel ooh we I loved it because you could <laughs> change clothes benefits. if you have to. As women, sometimes we just got to go change our shoes. I have certain shoes that I just like to dance in. I don't know how everybody else is, but sometimes you need to just change them, baby. So it's easy to just be able to go run up to your room and come back. I like that when we was at Angie Fane's, um event. Run up, Great come event. back, you can change clothes if you want, and you can drink. And you can get a, what is it called? Catch if you're a DUI in the on the elevator. Yeah, get a DUI on the elevator. I was going to say, what do you call it when you're in the elevator? When you're just laying all over on the wall? Getting a DUI, you get pulled over. Right. Uh, so for operating the elevator under the influence. Um, so the thing about it, again, when you're dealing with the with, with getting from the hotel, I mean from the airport to the hotel, then you got that. Okay, now let's talk about accommodations. We are Earlier we got into um, the can't be free thing where people uh where Irie and a few other people around the country have been mindful enough to uh provide room and free everything else right right so oh, i'm sorry i wanted to say this about the california hotel we were in which was like being in jamaica um it was like a resort that was nice yeah, denise herrod and we Burrow literally just rolled our Cali. suitcases one Harlem from nights from it wasn't even that far. It right. was like from one little building to the next, right. and that was real convenient. That Restaurant, was everything was on the property. That was a good one. Yes, yes. Uh, nice hotel. So now consider this as well. Uh, one of our daughters um, was intuitive and innovative enough to actually rent her high-rise apartment downtown Chicago out to a few steppers uh, yes. during an event. And, and I, I don't know if I ever told the ladies, but she was like, did they stay at my place? I said, yeah. She's like, oh, thank God. They were so neat and clean. She said she couldn't tell they stayed there. She <laughs> said they did a phenomenal job because you know, she was a little scared. I said, none of my friends are going to embarrass me. You don't have to worry. <laughs> so, she yeah. thought they was going to be wild. Um, consider <laughs> on the money-saving side, if you're going to a city where you have 
acquaintances, familiarities. Right. Or uh, what is it called? The Airbnb. I think Sharnice has an Airbnb yep. in Chicago. Yep. I think Tika um, has an Tika Airbnb, has Airbnb in Atlanta. Um, I think Tiffany and Dominique <laughs> in Florida Down have Florida. A, um, some yep. Airbnb. So, yeah, you can do that also. It's a group. And you're saving money. Yeah. So consider the group accommodations when you come to these hotels. Now, I have been in hotels, and I literally have seen three, four women stay in one room together. That's mm-hmm. another way to save money, Ooh, provided you got that's your That's got to be. Well, you know, you ain't you. You don't play well with others. I, so. I would share a room with certain people, <laughs> but I just can imagine. It's got four women in one room. Woo. So maybe two. But, well, I mean, they homies. They yeah, can do yeah, that. Yeah, they can do that. So yeah. uh, that's just one more consideration as to how to cut costs at an event. So think about it. If you're within a particular region and you and three of your girlfriends or three of the homies, I don't know if four men going to stay in a room together. I don't know. Anyway. But, hey, the hotel we stayed in in Houston for um, Queen of Central, that room had a couch bed in there, and then we had the bed, and then it had yeah. a full, full-size full fridge. It had a stove. stove. It had a microwave, a coffee pot, dishes, and a dishwasher. Yeah, shout out so to Joe. So talking about saving money for that hotel yeah. you could buy in Houston, and what was cook. it, State Bridge? I think so. That yeah. hotel was worth, and it was only like eighty nine or ninety nine. That one was that was a nice spot, yes. and it was new. They just remodeled. Yes, that hotel. But you could literally live in them rooms. Yes, it had a nice exhaust system. Um, so yeah, so you could take take that in consideration with some of the hotels. Now I don't know. Now remember, Step Again's there was no microwaves in the room, and you had to go down, and we had to stand in that long line for the microwaves. But now, I've seen on Amazon, you can buy these little mini microwaves that you can take with you and put in your room. I don't know if you can fly with that or not. Yeah, but Look, here, here, here come Irie. Irie, you late, man. We we said that already. Look, what did he, he say? He said folks can always hook up a Ford event, rent a car together to carpool. Yeah, we said yep, that and already. That's, so, but, but now, to add to what he's saying, because mm-hmm. this is where I was actually going with this, mm-hmm. if you and three of your friends get together, you carpool down to an event, and you all are... Uh, friendly enough with one another where you can all actually stay in the same room. You just saved yourself. You literally cut costs uh, incredibly right there. And you can still go to the event and have a good time. And this, and, and don't get it twisted. You know, people sometimes, we, we, don't, we do or don't do a lot of things um, because it's ego-driven. Nobody needs to know what your accommodations are. Nobody needs to know what your, your status or your standing is. As long as you go there, like people say, I hear people say all the time, I just want to dance. Go there and dance. Have a good time, man. Dance the night away and enjoy it because that's what you're there for. How you get there, your means of transportation, your means of of, 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 uh, of providing for it, that's between you and your God. Let the rest of it go. Go there and have a good time and let that be the end of that. Um, what else we got? So we talked about the Airbnbs. Food. Um we talked about hot wire, VRBO, which is like Airbnb, home away from home, flip key is another one. What's flip key? Um, it's just like Airbnb. Really? Mm-hmm. Flip key. Um, always use the resource of who you know in the city if they allow you to stay with them. Um, we talked about the group transportation, people sharing a hotel together or sharing an Airbnb together. Mm-hmm. Hotels that have accommodations where you can heat up your food to yep. save some money. Yep. Um, hotels that have the free breakfast that can help. Um, some of us Miss probably continental only, breakfast over here. Some of us <laughs> only need one meal for the day anyway. So <laughs> this one right here. She but you know, hotel, she book a hotel. She be like, uh, do they have the breakfast? <laughs> do they have a continental breakfast? But I like the little fruit and stuff. But I mean, uh-huh. it just and then you can always take an apple, orange, of course, because you don't know what people's budgets are. Some people might. I mean, again, this, just this is, barely this making it there. Um, so those are some good things for um, saving and then now, money. And let me and let me stop y'all right now because I know somebody's thinking this. If you got to go through all that, you shouldn't be going. BS. That's BS. Some people might have depression and it might save them from. Nobody knows what another person's situation is. Do not be trying to criticize nobody, even though these people shouldn't be telling you their situation anyway. But. There's no need in being critical. Some people have depression. Need, some people need being this. diagnosed with stuff, and this this helps them. They saves that you know yes, saves their sanity. This is medicine for some folks. Because just like people go golfing, golfing is expensive too. Um, what the roller skaters? They do the same thing like the steppers do. It's expensive too. Everybody has some type of outlet. We all just like dancing. So any way we can save some money. So I'm gonna say this: when you're in a hotel host event or whatever, I think like what um. 
Black and Bling is BYOB. Right. That helps to save some money. Um, yep. Keep your belt. Some keep of the hotels that have bag. the cash bars, please support the bars. Some please of the, support the bars. And some tip of the, the bartenders. Yeah, tip the bartenders. Some of the places that have, um, you know, like the little smaller clubs that they might have on Thursdays where you can't bring your own drinks in. We know folks might be sneaking in the car, okay, whatever. Don't don't bring it into place and don't be bringing your water. Buy water into place and still tip the people. Um, but uh, getting back to the budget of these events, the BYOBs are cool because you don't have to worry about the cash bar. But, you know, no. hotel events, you got to support the bar. No, we, don't want, we don't want y'all to have y'all budget so low that you get caught having sex in the parking lot. Go to your room. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, I've seen stranger things happen. Hey, somebody said stepping has saved a lot of lot of us. And that's, that's right. True. Going through divorce, depression, sickness. We I'm don't a, know what I'm people are going you through. You get caught in the car. I'm just saying. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? Come on, you know it's happened. He was one of those at the museum. You know what happened? You know, in Chicago, the museum back I in the day. Everybody went still bad. <laughs> and I didn't have room money. <laughs> uh-uh. Okay, so we we discussing the the BYOF and the BYOB at uh, some of these events, a little small club, support the bar, right? You mm-hmm. got a lot of events. Um, what was your grand say? You have the free breakfast that yeah, helps yeah, to save some money. Yeah, take advantage of the free breakfast that helps you knock a meal down. A uh, microwave uh, in a room or a fridge that'll yeah. help save money. I'm gonna tell you the trick now, that I found. Promoters, for, I might not tell this trick for St. Promo- Louis. Promoters, keep this in mind. The hotels that you decide to choose and use for your events, check to see what the amenities are and if it's going to benefit your patrons. Right, right. Um, but St. Louis, you could get a microwave in your room. You had to ask for it. So yeah. some of the people did get microwaves. Mm-hmm. Um, the Texas Heat one, did we have a microwave yeah, no, in our room? The, uh, we but didn't they was, have they one. would give you a microwave no, it was too. Those refrigerators. Everybody was using a microwave downstairs. But, okay. But if okay. you needed a refrigerator, they would put one of those. In. Okay. Um, all righty, so we discussed uh, all that with the hotel. Irie, Irie, good point, man. What Free parking. Parking. Oh, yes, parking the at parking. the parking. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people forget to put that on there. Um, a lot of these promoters do forget to mention <laughs> that there is an extra fee for parking at their events, and it does get expensive. So make sure that you keep that in mind while you are uh, uh, book. well, you know, Deciding which events have the most value. Right, since we, because remember, we're talking about budgets, travel hacks. You, as a consumer, make the choice of which events you go to and which ones are going to fit your budget the best. Uh, Again, I don't want y'all sitting up here trying to act like some of y'all ain't on a budget because you are. Let's just, let's keep it 100. Okay, so we discussed the hotels that had the free breakfast. Some places have happy hour. Take advantage of that. Um, Definitely don't embarrass the promoters and not tip. Because uh, they might say, oh, you can't have an event back at this hotel. They was too wild. They didn't even tip. I actually saw somebody get into it with a bartender once. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was pretty bad. but yeah. um, If you do go to one of those cities like Chicago and Austin and you um, grocery shopping, make sure you take your own grocery bags because otherwise you have to pay like 9 or $0.10 cents for a bag. Mm-hmm. But you can always buy an inside step and tote bag, which you use as a sure grocery can. bag. Um, that's another uh, good tip. What was this other one? Oh, a lot of us are up in age. So speak for yourself. Okay. Well, for whoever, <laughs> some of us are up in age. She a coolie, y'all. I'm um, only 25. Triple A discount, AARP oh, yeah. discount. I actually went to a hotel and I was able to get 15 percent off Doggone because it. of my um um AAA uh AAA Triple A Triple A um we ain't talking about card. Alcohol, yeah, no. I never had to go, thank God. No, <laughs> but my the, AARP card, you can get a discount. So that's something you can always discuss. No, that's for alcoholics. Um, you a drunk. Again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we talked about the clothes, um, shopping for the parties and themes. A lot of a lot of people kind of getting away from the themes. Um, Oh man, oh, I think we so, actually almost covered everything. So didn't we? Oh, okay, I gotta say this one. Going yeah. out of the country. You going to any parties oh, out of the country. And we do make have sure. Aruba. Well, Hawaii ain't out of the country, but we do have an Aruba trip and then they, what they do, England last year. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you get and it's just for any kind of traveling. You going out the country. This get is for the travel any insurance. Get the travel insurance. I cannot stress that enough. And there are people who say, Oh, we don't need that. Well, let me tell you. We had an experience a few years ago. There was proof that you do need it. 
get it. Oh, yes, military discount. A lot of people, especially Texas, they give you military discount. San Antonio, they definitely oh, give yeah, you military man. discount. You come to an event in Texas, military discounts is But a lot of places, yeah, definitely. I don't know, Chicago. I guess I'm sure they nah. do, but you just probably got to ask. Texas, I don't know. you're going to get your yeah, military Texas discount. They, they honor that. They Matter of fact, I'm going to show you how cold Texas is with the military. They actually have disabled veteran parking out there with the handicapped parking in front of yes. most of the businesses, yes. and they get parking better than everybody. Right. So they serious about their veterans in Texas. So, so now let's that. get back to any events that you're going out of the country, because I think Hey Hey Fred has mm-hmm. one. They're going back to Aruba. Um, get that traveler's insurance. So you have a website called Safety Wings, and they had some pretty good prices on travel insurance. And then another one was called mm-hmm. Insurance My Trip which gave you a lot of different companies that you can pick. Uh, again, we went to Jamaica, and a gentleman got sick, and he had insurance. He was a Chicago detective. He had insurance, but you're in another country. They don't give a hoot they about America's insurance. A, they wanted, they wanted seven thousand dollars walking through the door, cash, cash daily, don't and he had no a massive games. stroke. So he had to be flown out of Jamaica to get back to Florida to go to the hospital. Twenty-eight but, racks. Right, but in the meantime, it was two weeks uh, with no medical attention, and he had a massive stroke. So, fortunately, get, he is still with us. Yes, he's still with us. God is good. He can walk and talk. He has a memory now because at first he lost all of that, but after a lot of being back in America and good rehab in Miami, um, he's good now and he's back at work. But get the in traveler's insurance. And some of your credit cards have it a number on the back where you can get the traveler's insurance. So insurancemytrip.com and safety wings. And you can actually insure your travel if you just want to spend extra money right here in the United States. It still helps. You don't never know what's going to happen. Um, there's a lot of stuff goes on. Um, now, Dorit Payne says, it would be nice if promoters would have a looking for a roommate option oh like that's messenger a good one. list or something that's where if you one. want to uh, want a roommate or your travel partner has canceled that's an excellent, excellent that is idea. a good one that is a good one that's promoters y'all 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 heard it here um that's something that could be taken advantage of because we do have people i mean how many times have we seen people who wanted to go to something and they didn't want to go by themselves we, oh, I mean, yeah. I, we've seen that yeah. a lot yeah so i think that's a, a fantastic idea and something that could be uh easily added to the rotation um um, I wanted to say this too. Marriott and Hilton has some excellent reward um, reward points. So make sure you get you a Marriott's card. Um, and you get you some points, and for the Hilton, get your points also. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think we covered everything. Oh, we- when you do get those reward points, which I'm gonna use this time, I have some uh, free drink tickets for the plane. Oh. Yeah, for Southwest. They mailed oh, so we get to get drunk. You get the free plane? cocktails. Oh, free cocktails. Plane, free cocktails. And sometimes when you have those points, they give you free upgrades. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have covered an awful lot of material here this evening. And I hope that something in this presentation has helped you to figure out a way where you can cut a little bit of cost and save yourself a few bucks and make it just that much easier for you to have a few extra fun bucks when you get to an event or just put a little extra money back in your pocket. Oh, that's a good one. If it's girlfriends and women going together, I don't know if men would do this, but a lot of women would do it because we, you know, uh, you can watch what you eat and you don't want to eat everything. Share a plate. You can buy one lunch or one dinner and get it cut in half and bo- boom, both me and ladies you do are that. eating. Yeah, we do that sometimes. Yeah, yep. me and me and Because sometimes we don't want to, you know, be too full. Yeah, and, you know, you want to dance. When I'm or traveling, you out. I don't eat a lot anyway because right. I don't want to get sick. Right. That's, so. that's you know I, that's like kind of a rule I have. I don't eat before I get. I don't eat nothing heavy before I get on a plane because I, I I'm gonna tell y'all right now I cannot stand. It drives me nuts. People getting up 15 times <laughs> to go to the damn bathroom on a plane. You didn't know you had to go pee before you got on a plane. I'm just saying. <laughs> So, it's an hour flight. Wait, I, don't know, I don't know where we were going. I think we was going out the country that time, but we somehow ended Man. up sitting in the back by the bathroom. So he over here. Grand Central Station. He over here looking at people like, really? Really? And then one lady, I think she went to the bathroom about five times. We wasn't on a plane, but uh, two hours, <laughs> if that. Like, what yeah. do you, what you, what you, ain't? you don't have a bladder? You just, you need to stop drinking. I'm Go to the saying. bathroom before you get on the plane. Oh, yeah. And if you want to ride with us, no pee pee babies. No pee pee <laughs> right. babies. No My pee-pee kids babies. are grown. No pee pee babies. No you can't ride My with us. Kids Sorry. My wasn't pee pee babies. I ain't ride with no adults. You, you get a pee-pee. speech. Go to the bathroom now, before you, you get in the car. Tell me you got a medical condition or you're on medication. I'm going to cut you some slack. But if you just a. 
The pee pee baby. <laughs> Pissy Patty, you forget about it. Yeah. Just say it. Right. So uh, I hope that we have been able to help someone figure out a way to save a couple of bucks um, and make it that much easier for you to attend an event and to just figure out, you know, which events are more practical for you. What if you want to stay in a certain region or if you want to fly, you know, across country, either way or drive for that matter. If that's what you decide to do, find ways to cut a few corners here and there, save a couple of bucks. I mean, ain't nobody got money to be thrown away. Everything is going up. So, you know, this is just some informative little tips. And one thing, Southwest likes to play this little thing every month, and they give you a certain amount of days where you can get a ticket. So it's not too late to get a ticket to Vegas. And remember, if you get your hotel room there, the event is free. That's right. Because I literally just saved $100 from clearing the cookies out and using Firefox on a ticket. So it's not too late to get tickets for there. 19, we will be in Las Vegas broadcasting live inside Stepping out of Africa and then we into have Las Vegas, y'all. First annual national DJ Steppers DJ competition. $1,000 winner take all event. We will be broadcasting that. And then let's see, April. In that, April so we discussed April 14th February. through 16th. We will be in Phoenix, Arizona at the Phoenix Jam. My girl Angie Fain out there. Now I'm going to say with that event this year, the shuttle from the hotel will bring you from the airport. Once you get to that hotel, you really do not have you to leave. You don't have to leave. Food you, and everything you, was good at the hotel. Nice was restaurant. fantastic. Um, and by the way, I'm DJing and hosting and pro- broadcasting from the pool party. So bring your swimwear. Get your gear ready. We're going to party hard at the pool. Spades and, and your they, dominoes. And Remember, Phoenix. Dennis was killing everybody and um, playing spades. I saw Chuck the- Games lose. Uh, uh, Chuck, 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 all of them Chuck, was over there cutting Chuck, up. Chuck was getting his tail. He got, he got his oh, tail playing tore up. Yeah, he okay. got lit up over so there. So then Black and Bling, we know that's at the, what, Marriott WD, what is it? I can't see y'all. DFW Airport South, Black and Bling. That is May 4th through the 7th. And he has a shuttle. Um, I, I saw I saw Devin on here earlier. I don't know if he's still on there. I think he has a shuttle. I don't know if he's doing it again this year. I'm sure he probably is because it definitely worked out for him then let's see we have june juneteenth juneteenth that event is only 65 dollars once you that's at the holiday inn in austin at midtown once you park there everything is at that hotel that also 65 dollars and that event is facilitated by myself and four other gentlemen daryl uh, greenwood Burt, okay. girl smooth greenwood my man kevin henderson and my man oh William big old Owens. williams out of Houston, Texas, and we are going to get it in. I'm telling y'all now. So that's June 16th, 17th, 18th, so you, you can go. get your tickets for that. Get your tickets you can, and your dashikis. You can drink all you want and your uh, Texas gear. y'all, Juneteenth. Everything is going to be in that hotel. Then we have. Oh, you just got all the events. That's June. And we're not going to do all the events today. Okay, well, let's do July. All and right. then we have July. They're stepping in Huntsville. That's in Huntsville, Alabama. My girl Trina I don't know. Lord, down I don't there. know if everything is in one place on that one, but I'm just giving you. Um, that's going to be. Now, ju- you know what? Let's 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 actually talk that's about July that right quick. 28th, now, let me let me tell y'all now. Thirtieth. Uh, that particular event is in uh, uh, Huntsville, Bur- Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama. Now let me show y'all something. Southwest does not fly to Huntsville. You have to fly to Birmingham and you can get a rental you car. Get a, you can fly into Birmingham and get a rental car, or going you're going to have Birmingham. to use United American. Or yes. one of the other airlines yes. to fly into Huntsville. But Delta has a, a good thing with points. I'm not familiar with United United Airlines points, but I'm sure they have it. But I've never used theirs. Um, but so that's in July, and then we had August. I'm just I'm gonna just go through them. I have August Crushing Cream. You need orange. August 10th through the 13th. That one was pretty convenient. Everything was right down DJ the street. T Rail in the building. What's happening, man? And he will be DJing at um. Jewels and Gents this year, DJ T. Real. He's on the ticket. And then we have the Minnesota event. Um, that's in September. So save the date for that one. That is in yeah. Bloomington. Don't have too much information on that one, Gentleman but it Diamond, is at the y'all. everything is at the Mall of America. So for all my shoppers, that's Bloomington, September 28th, 29th, and 30, 30th. That's Denim and Diamonds. That is at the end of September. And they say it's a, a excellent event. 
They'll be having line dancing. They're going to have stepping. But everything is at the Mall hey, of America. On, hold on. See, this is the reason so why shop, I told shop, you don't shop. even do that. Now, Irie about to jump you. I uh-huh. I know you See, was on there. I no, didn't skip no, you. No, no, no. You did. You skipped dates. You just skipped right past. I was See? just going through. Oh, I told I you. I was just going through. So See, this, this I know Irie right? was on here. Lady. So I was going to say you can't beat free for <laughs> Marriott. And I can't Step remember the other wholesale. Union, y'all. Embassy. $150 Formerly known a as Stepaganza. And, of course, everybody and their mama going to be there. Yes. They better be. And that that's the event this year. I, I see you keep saying something about promotions, right? So everybody that's oh, a DJ. Listen, Irie got a thing going on this year, y'all. You, If you are a promoter, a DJ, uh, uh, um, or any an instructor, and anybody who is facilitating any type of, um, I don't want to say business, but I guess you could yeah, anything, say anything. I guess yeah, for a business involving stepping vendors, t-shirts. You need t-shirts, to bring all uh, of your advertising paraphernalia, bring your banners and all of that. They're gonna set up. It's gonna be like a convention almost. You can come in and you can talk to the different instructors and you can you know uh, talk to the people like our, us who have the inside stepping t-shirts or inside stepping. We'll be there. We'll have our banners set up. We're gonna have our it's bags, great, our towels, our t-shirts. Check that out. That's going to be fly. Yeah, so all the promoters, all the promoters, yes, all we'll the instructors, in everybody, all the vendors, all will be at Stepaganza, and you can promote your event. It ain't Stepaganza. I mean, no oh, yeah, I see, keep saying see, I'm sorry. See. Step a union. Step a union. You can um, <laughs> promote your event. And, we, Ira, we talked about your event several times. Um, yeah, you got a lot of mentions. You, you came in late, man. Yeah, you came in late. We <laughs> talked about the hotel, and we talked about you can't beat free. The right. hotel is one hundred and fifty dollars. Matter of fact, a night. We, one of the things that I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this. Mm-hmm. My, in my opinion, mm-hmm. Irie's event is the most bang for the buck that you can get out of a Steppers event. Yeah, because he said to, Irie earlier. You missed it because yeah, somebody argued him about it's not free. And I and told he him said it, it is free Tell because me. you got to pay for a hotel no matter where we go. Right. So at the end of the day, there is no better value on the planet and as far as stepping is concerned, uh, Step Union. Um, Riri made a good point. It sounds like an expo. You're right. All yes. the promoters will be there advertising the event. And Step selling. an expo. And he said, bring all of your stuff so you can sell your tickets at his event. That's right. Bring your tickets. So now everybody's doing, what is it called? That you have it on our um, inside step in the little the QR code. Yes, QR code. So I know a lot of us are older, maybe a little slow in the social media and the internet uh, in the app department. Develop yourself a QR code. Yes, get you a QR code. You can sell your ticket ASAP. You can sell all your information right there. So yes, that one is like Vegas uh, promotion. Uh, Riri gave a good one, Expo. Yeah, like an expo. Yeah, expo. A promoter's expo. And right. you get to dance. Y'all, we have... Shot way past our time, but Uh-oh. it's all right because it ain't nothing but good information. It was very so, good information. So, with that said, I want to thank everyone for hanging out with us and taking in the information. And we want we just want to make sure that everybody gets what they need. And you know, we're gonna see y'all on the wood, man. That's that's what's happening. Uh, and don't forget to share and subscribe. And thank you, Miss Connor, Mrs. Connor. I really appreciate that. The um. The little flyer plugger that she yeah, made. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank you so much. See, I, I love my inside stepping family, man. Oh, Y'all let's say that point. right quick with our stepping family. It's a lot of people out here that's talented to make flyers. A lot of people. Uh, Cause we see you, Mrs. I'm Connors. That was nice. And yes, Brian makes flyers also. I don't know if you've seen Josiah Burt's flyer floating around. Um, yeah, he for, made a couple for, of flyers for, for original, different people. He's got an original step, stepping class coming up, y'all. It's gonna be off the chain. I did his flyer. You know, we put that out there. And of course, for my local folks, we will be at the Time Out Lounge this Saturday, like we were at uh, the last place we were at. I ain't saying no names. One to four, we will be getting it in this Saturday Just right here in San Antonio hours. for a few hours, y'all. The Steppers Hangout is back. Let's go. Let's see y'all on the wood, you dig? That it? That's it. We done. Hope everybody saved. Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money? Where's my money? Wait a minute, where I want all the $100 bills? Give me to me, give me to me. I always there want to go, go to one of them places where I can do this. Let me take in my money, Let's man. Let's see if I can do this. Why you tell my band, man? You can get another you band. Tripping. Let me see if I can do it. Let's see if we can. How do they do it? That, it must that, be practice. No, no. Hey, how hey, get... hey, hold on now. Why are you tripping? It's you money. You tripping. Let's let it go. How, do... how you see them in the clubs hey, and man, be doing that, making that it rain? That ain't... <laughs> you suck at that. <laughs> 
Don't you? Don't you? You do can that tell I don't. <laughs> I don't swing money around. Right. I thought it was cool though. So nah, yeah, I'm we sure helped you. Hope we did. saved you some money. Help right, me save some money. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everybody for hanging out, getting the information. I hope it helped. I hope somebody is going to save a buck. Get your money, y'all. Get wanna... your points. Somebody said you can't make it rain. No, I can't make it rain. <laughs> I tried. She can't make You don't know how to make it rain, baby. I bet you can make it drizzle, though. That's Throw some that change was. That was mother. drizzle. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Good night. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see y'all on the wood. Peace out.